Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Doris, you are a south side giant, a south side lion that's a legend in my eyes, a personal pillar in our bloodline. Everything I know about my purpose has origins in you. You are my Sunday candy, the only woman that could get me in a church, a queen more than capable of turning a humble lineage into a royal one, a son that nourished the earth, let the roots grow deep, let the plants grow high, brought light to my world. You gave birth to seven children that gave birth to like a hundred more, I don't know. I lost count of the seeds that fell from the trees that grew from the seeds you planted. You were fearless, always, standing for what's right and just. I don't think I've once seen you hold your tongue up fear for bodily harm. I wish I could place faith in God the way you do. A faith with strength I didn't fully comprehend until the cancer attacked Papa's liver. I watched you hold it together while your whole world was falling apart. And I saw you welcome death when the disease finally took him. And I guess it's fitting that a woman who's feared nothing her whole life doesn't even fear death in her twilight. My mother is just like you. Except for that one thing. She's terrified of death. Maybe her faith isn't as strong as yours, or maybe she still has things left to live for. You lost those things when we took your cancer sticks. You prayed the disease would come for you like it came for your husband long before you ended up here. Assisted living. But you don't need no help. You just need your freedom, your cigarettes, and to die with some shred of dignity. You were a south side giant, a south side lioness, and a lioness deserves to die in the savannah. We could have left you. But instead, we called the ambulance. We're only humans, and humans are selfish. All we know is preservation. But you've been preserved on this earth for 16 years longer than you wanted to be. And now the very medicine keeping you alive is depriving you of the one thing you had left to live for after Papa passed. Caged in this assisted care facility with a house arrest bracelet around your ankle, labeled a flight risk. Because you won't rest until you regain the freedom to roam your south side pride lands and find a goddamn pack of cigarettes. 